Um, so I've got Tanya, will you say, let's see. Yeah, absolutely, Tanya. So Tanya says, when a simple task turns into something extremely complicated with a lot of external pressure to speed up a process that cannot be sped up, I get frustrated. Absolutely. Right there with you. <laughs> I need my little magic wand that just says, I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> Right there with you. Oh my gosh. And that's that's the Tanya that slapped you a few times, right? In theater. I must have blocked that out. <laughs> so in theater, Tanya has slapped you before, but apparently she didn't knock enough sense into you. To no, know what happens on stage stays up. on stage. Yeah. What happens on okay. Well, that's good. Yeah. That's good to know. So, yes, Tanya, we get frustrated, we get overwhelmed. And so the first step is also a cliche, which is deep breathe. And the reason for that is that when our amygdala kicks in, our survival brain diverts oxygen away from the brain into your major muscle groups and your vital organs so that you can respond to those four Fs, that fight, flight, freeze, fawn response. And fawning is people pleasing from a place of survival. And squirrel really quick. I want to make sure I say this. No, I no hear squirrels. Uh -huh. We're squirreling. No. Squirrel. Squirrel. Yes, I have ADHD. Squirrel, this is not in the planning meeting, but here it is today. And that is that is that all the time I hear people say, people pleasing is bad. I people please and that's bad. It's bad. It's bad. No, it's not bad. In fact, a good portion of the population utilize people pleasing type behaviors as um, the way that they demonstrate love and appreciation and gratitude. And that is not unhealthy. That's very healthy. Yeah. Where people pleasing can be problematic is when we're people pleasing from a survival brain space, because then I'm bringing you brownies so that you don't get mad at me. And my goodness, I'm on a chocolate kick. Ronnie, I blame you. Your hand is raised inside my squirrel. 